Hey race fans and welcome to Phoenix International Raceway where we will be running the Lucas Oil 150. Let's take a look at this top 10 starting lineup. On the pole we have Lisa Shears and Megan McCoy. Row 2 we have Red Bell and Jesse Kaplan. Row 3 we have Jack Richards and Trent the Hedgy. Row 4 we have Jack Evans and Jordan Hetzer. Rounding out the top 10 is Connor Brenton and Martin Sakala. After a great race at Daytona last week, these drivers are itching to take that green flag as we are ready for those famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! Uh-oh, it looks like the 63 of Megan McCoy hasn't got her truck started. And she is now in pit road. That's a tough break for her. She would have started second. And it looks like those other rows of trucks are going to have to try to catch up. As the pace truck is now leaving the track. As we are now taking the green flag. Well, the outside row just got a big start as the 57 of Jesse Kaplan is taking the lead, but not for long as here comes here comes the 07 of Red Bell as she now takes the lead from Lisa Shears. They had a fantastic battle last week as they are now rounding turn four. And it looks like Red Bell will lead this first lap and this will be a 15 lap shootout. Getting into turn one, it looks like the 29 of Jack Richards is trying to come up right beside Red Bell. Going into the back right now. Whoa. Now just taking second place is 93 of Jack Evans. And whoa. Whoa, what happened to the pack? And whoa! And whoa, they are wrecking behind them. The yellow flag is out. Whoa. What happened there? Now here is what happened that brought out the yellow flag in the first place. Just before the exit of turn two, the three truck of Joseph Lombard just hits the nine of Ralph Green as the 31 of Logan Wilson just slams into the side of Joseph Lombard and that just sends him spinning through the backstretch and also involves the 88 of Cole Lanning, the 19 of Adam Feigl, and behind them, that just causes a chain reaction. There goes the 39 of Ty Norton getting involved. The 20 of Team 48 Lowe's. The 81 of Hoover 75. And there is more carnage behind them. There goes the 33 of Dougie Shears who just hits and flips. And there goes... The 50 of Bob Fergus just slamming into the 66 of Nick Knotts. And there is also the 46 of Carson Valdez. And there is the front end of Jack Nathan. And that was, whoa. And we just had another big hit. It's the 77. The 77 of Jeffrey White. And as we just saw a few trucks back. Uh-oh. Oh, oh and also... A truck ahead just spun out. It's the 99 of Raven Ladders, but he looks to be okay. And back to the real carnage. It looks like King Griffith actually got through. But, oh, Barney Ward is also involved. And there goes the 62 of Dark Spike. And there is the, the destroyed car of truck of 10 Night Rose 22. Oh, my. And there's the pace truck about to take the field. And this is the secondary crash that happened out on the track. The 29 truck of Jack Richards along with the 60 truck of Lisa Shears. They just ended up scraping the turn 4 wall. And while that happened, the 57 truck of Jesse Kaplan. I guess he just 
got stuck onto the 60, and uh-oh, there's the 73 of Aaron Clayball. Oh, and he got turned by Jesse Kaplan, which just sends the 29 straight into the wall, and they had nowhere to go. And there goes the 57, also going around, along with the 18 of Martin Sakala and the 9 of Ralph Green, who actually escaped that first crash. And Jordan Hetzer got involved, and also the one of Andre Johnson. Whoa, they just wrecked everywhere on this track. And here we are, back at Phoenix, and we're still under caution. Red Bell, Jack Evans, Trent the Hedgy, Connor Brenton, Jesse Kaplan, Andre Johnson, Matt Naden, and oh, Red Bell is smoking. I was about to list the top ten, but Red Bell, she is smoking. It looks like she's going down pit road. I don't know if she's out of this race or she has some kind of problems. I don't know. Well, it looks like Jack Evans has just taken over the race lead. As Red Bell is now going down pit road, we will be right back after this. Here we are back at Phoenix, just in time for the restart. Jack Evans, Trent the Hedgy, Connor Brenton, Jesse Kaplan, Andre Johnson, Matt Naden, Tim Feigl, Jack Richards, Superdog 316 and Raven Ladderus. That is your top 10 right now as we are getting ready to take the restart. Pace truck is leaving the track. As we are now taking this restart. Wow. The entire field of trucks now is nearly kaput. I believe there are only there are there are only 13 trucks on the track right now. As Jack Evans continues to lead with Trent the Hedgy riding up right behind him. As this race is half over, it looks like we lost more than half the field after those crashes. Jack Evans continues to lead as he is now heading into the back right away. Trent the Hedgy is running in second. In third right now we have Jesse Kaplan. In fourth right now we have Connor Brenton. In fifth place is the number four truck of Matt Nathan. In sixth is, well, right now we have a battle for six between Raven Lateris and Tim Feigl. And oh, there goes the 29 of... Jack Richards was also involved in that crash. And there goes the 97 of Superdog 316 along with Andre Johnson and Leisha Shears with the with the complete front end of her truck missing. I guess she's just decided to stay in this race. As we go. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Looks like I missed a truck. That is the number 92 of Napa Waltner. I guess he decided to stay in as well. As we are going back to the front now. Jack Evans continues to lead, but Trent the Hedgy is right there on his bumper. As we are now in lap 11. Jack Evans is hanging on tight to that lead. Uh-oh. Trent the Hedgy better find an opening fast if he wants to win. And behind these two are Jesse Kaplan and Matt... Oh, excuse me, Connor Brenton. Heading, heading into the turn, Trent the Hedgy is still not giving up and trying to get that lead, but Jack Evans, he is doing whatever he can to keep it. in the turn three right now. 
If Trucks want an opportunity to pass, they better do it in turns three and four, like Trent the Hedge is trying to do right now. But he just couldn't make it that time. And uh-oh. Uh oh, there goes Trent the Hedge trying to go for the lead now. And he got it. Trent the Hedge is your new race leader as they are running side by side with Jack Evans. But while they're having that battle, here comes Jesse Kaplan on the inside trying to capitalize along with Connor, Connor Brenton. Now have two laps to go. Trent the Hedgy is now leading it as he is slowly trying to pull away, but Jack Evans, Jesse Kaplan, and Connor Brenton, they're still running closely. Matt Naden has lost the groove as he is running in fifth. As we are now taking the white flag, and uh oh, there goes Jack Evans on the inside again, trying to retake the lead from Trent the Hedgy. And he got it, but Trent the Hedgy is staying on that outside line, which is probably a bad idea because here comes Jesse Kaplan in the 51. 57, I'm sorry. Heading into turns three and four now. Trent the Hedgy goes way into the outside, and oh, he scrapes the wall. That's going to do it for this race. Jack Evans is going to take the checkered flag. Jack Evans takes the Phoenix win. Second place is Jesse Kaplan. Third place is Trent the Hedgy. Fourth place is Connor Brenton. Fifth place is Matt Naden. Sixth place is Raven Latteris. Seventh place is Tim Feigl. Eighth place is... Jack Richards, ninth place is Superdog 316, and rounding out the top 10 is a battered Lisa Shears. Wow. 12 trucks cross the line, while the other 30 are out of this race. Amazing. The Lucas Oil 150 at Phoenix International Raceway. One caution for four laps. Three lead changes between three drivers. I don't think that shouldn't even be considered as one caution. It should be considered two. There were two big crashes on just that one caution. And it took out 30 trucks. 30 trucks. Only 12 trucks made it past the start-finish line. Jack Evans took that win, and he deserved it. I guess it's obvious to say that many drivers today are going to have their first DNFs of the season. I guess that pretty much does it for Phoenix. I was expecting a bigger race, but that huge crash just took out almost everybody. We will see you next week at Darlington. Before I forget, here is the season standings after two races.